live from our orbiting XM satellite studio, it's the Firesign Theater, Fools in Space, as the Firesign Theater returns to radio with two full hours of comedy, humor, satire, parody, poetry, and postmodern predictions of the unpredictable future, starring Phil Austin. Stop me! Peter Bergman. Alive and kicking! Phil Proctor. Call me Howard! And me, David Osmond. Not to mention Mark Time, Dwight Yeast. Well, uh, how about uh, Barney the Bozo's Bozo's Barney here? Bozo. Yes, All the Bozos are here. here. Hey, Barney. I do not have anthrax. Well, okay. to Bob Hines. <laughs> we'll be hearing the Fools in Space Amateur Hour, The Future Adventures of Mark Time, Dr. Firesign Sci-Fi Chiller Theater, just about everything that there's room for, you'll hear in the next two hours on this program. And now, across America, from San Diego to Dallas, Fort Worth to Washington, D.C., here we are in more than two places at once, the Firesign Theater, Fools in Space. <laughs> Brought to you by... Because of us, it's morning in America. Breakfast, honey? Thanks. Hey, is this real pork? Because of us, people in the Great Plains are just plain doing things. Little things, like taking money from machines. Hey, hey, stop, kid. I'm not a machine. Because of us, they're roasting East Coast marshmallows on the West Coast. Wow, these taste like pork. We're the people of U.S. Plus. Guess what we do? Chemistry, transportation, pork. <laughs> kind of. U.S. Plus. We own the idea of America. We used to be free men. We, the Firesign Theater, we used to have. Yeah. We were not no bought sponsors. by these people. We had no Who sponsors. Who is this pork <clears throat> thing? What is that pork I thing had, that's sponsoring know. us? We had nothing to do with it. I think we're going to have to talk to Washington. Washington? Yeah. I thought he was dead. He had the wooden no, teeth. No, no, Didn't no, he no, stand no, up no, in the no, boat? No, one. no, this is the Washington of, of, of Richard the Lionhearted, our boy king. The, oh, US the, Plus is the DC. Washington. U.S. Plus is the only corporation that has survived September 11th. Yeah. Because the, they get no mail. They get no mail, and they get nothing but subsidies. It's totally yes. electronic. Yeah, oh right. Gosh. They weren't there. Right. What about that other thing, though? What about that, what was that, Doombot? What? What it's are we also, selling there? It's just yeah, the only that's... businesses that still exist are totally electronic. They're David, in cyberspace. David, do you have any pieces of, of America bought like that? Do you have securities? Do you have bonds? Uh, that's dust. It's blown dust. away with the dust. Hey, that's know, the whole I'm thing. into bondage. Is that anything Bondage like and dust. Okay, if we're selling bondage and dust, it's okay with yeah, me. Yeah, I think oh, that's The right. only way to get through this next period is to wear rubber gloves when you open your email. I'm just telling you this right yeah, now. I've been doing has that. Changed. Yeah, oh, I, I thought you just like faced away from the screen. Oh, I already okay. do that. Oh, I don't have a spam because I do not have a screen anymore. Oh, that's the way to do I it. I read it uh, telepathically. Mm -hmm. You know, and spam get, is not kosher. I get kosher. messages, you know, while I'm sleeping. Yeah, mm -hmm. so do I. Like, get out of show business. But I'm here. I'm here today with the Firesign Theater on XM Radio. If you'd have told me back in 1957 when I graduated from I high did. school. I did. I told you, and uh, you wouldn't believe me. Because I that? wasn't asleep. No. If you had told me back in 1957, remember when Sputnik went up and everybody thought America is doomed? Yeah. I, said, I said radio. It's going to be radio. 50 years later or so, I would be doing a radio show off of Sputnik. I would have, I would have given up. I would have given up the ghost. Are we? Yeah, to yes, because I'll let the Paruski. That's why you didn't understand it. I told you that in Russian. Oh my God! We were taken over by the Russians. They did win. It was the little guy going beep 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 beep. Oh yeah. Beep beep. I always thought that was a monkey. You know the. Oh wait, excuse me. Could we test our sound effects first? This is a live radio show. Could we test the new machine, Phil, here for a minute? All right, here we go. Let's see what we got going. So this will. It's raining in the studio. It's raining. What else? What else we got? Look out, here comes the race. Whoa. Oh. The oh. greatest event in human history. Oh, <laughs> Susanna. Could we have that nice seated rainstorm there? This is here the rain go. stick. Let's, hear it. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, with thunder. Oh, uh, that uh, nice with raining. thunder. I you know, walk again by night. Later in the show. Much later in the show. <laughs> In Los Angeles, we don't get much rain and thunder. We have to literally walk around with these little sound effects boxes in order to give us that, which the flyover, they get nothing but thunderstorms. Grand Forks, a, a, a foot of wet snow just two, two days to, ago. I had to hire somebody to come out and paint my palm tree orange so that I'd feel like it was fall. 
Really? It yeah. works, too, doesn't it? Leaf well, by then, leaf or yeah. frond by yeah. frond. Yeah. yeah, right. I have a sunset. The guy that ride, paints a sunset on his truck and drives by my house. That's not Every oh, night at six. Special, no, a little like two minutes later every day. Every oh, day. That's very scientific. And tonight I lose him for an hour because it's, oh, yeah. what is it, fall back, tomorrow spring, fall on we, your face? Tomorrow we fall uh, on our face. Yeah, I do. Sunday. I do that with a guy who does the moon for me, drives the truck by. But really, yeah. But he gets a day off every once in a while. He so. sure does. Oh, that, that's that's his died. day that's every the month. That he moons you once a month. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, can I? I'm sorry, David. Well, but I, just, I, I wanted I, to yes, discuss something with you, which yes. was I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. Would you have believed, given the events of the last few weeks, mm -hmm. that the highest modern technology that we seem to have arrived mm -hmm. at right. this day yeah. is a cave? <laughs> Well, <laughs> we're back to the bunker I mean, again. Yeah. You know, you saw back oh, to the, the bunker. Our dear president again. would come out and say, "Well, they're hiding in those caves, and we can't <laughs> get them. <laughs> and they're shooting at us out of those Who caves, cares? but we're gonna <laughs> smoke them out, and we're gonna get them running." Well, no, no, they're, they're, they're smoking in those caves. They had a lot of trouble. You know, they had a lot of trouble with the Indians in the caves. Yeah, yeah. 150 Always. years. Yeah, with well, the but I have good news. What I was gonna say. Oh, give us some good news because the front front page has been nothing but bad news. This is from I get space news weekly. I was a little spaced when I yeah. get it. Uh -huh. But it, Space News, I'm very, very pleased to say, and I know that all our friends in Washington will be pleased to say, XM, Here. here's the headline, yeah. XM satellite radios go on sale despite terrorist attacks. Oh, there you right. have There yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I want to really congratulate yeah. our brave boys in Washington. And yeah. there they come now. There they are. And there they go. Even though... The uh, terrorist attacks forced XM Satellite Radio to delay its long-awaited official rollout. They consumers were able to buy the radios and at least, uh, yeah, at least what? Uh, two, three, four. Pickle. Six, look under eight. pickle. I right. think it's squeaky. On page, I think it's under squeaky pickle. Uh, nine ninety nine. Is it March two hundred and two? Uh -huh. It's one hundred and fifty. I think they sold forty, they but sold they were 40. on sale. Yeah. They were on sale. They well, were on sale in spite of terrorist attacks. So no monkey business with our company. In order, in order to be, in order to be heard, because this is our first show. It's bouncing off the satellite. The two largest communication satellites in the world is what we're going up Rock to and coming and down roll. from. Rock and roll. So I thought, you know, this is a big deal. So I went out and I passed out. XM radios amongst the homeless on the oh, beach here in Santa Monica. Nice. Wait, wait, don't you have to install an antenna on a homeless person before he can use it? No, no, because radio? if they point an antenna at, at somebody, they could shoot them. Don't you point know. that antenna don't, at see, me, man. Right. <laughs> you know, well, got to be careful. I just, you know, once I give it to them, it's their karma. They can do with it as they wish. Oh, well, they I hope they're listening. Oh, bring up karma. That's <laughs> great. Well, you like, talk, Let's talk about caves. I want to get back to caves. Yeah, yeah, uh, like, yeah, their karma, everything starts with K. Yeah, okay. Lockheed was just given a no, $200 billion contract for the P-35 fighter. Just front page today. The new fighter, which can do everything except fly into caves. And, That's and what it said. Yeah, Under the spec yeah. sheet, does everything, everything except fly into, fly into caves. Wait, 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 and if it does fly in, it says in small print, not guaranteed to, to come fly out, out again. Yeah, right. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Do not. You're right. Do not fly this fighter into caves, or your child may suffocate. That's right. Right. Pregnant women and people operating heavy machinery should not fly this machine into, into a cave. A cave. Okay. Into a cave. Yeah. There are tests. Uh, you know, there's things you can uh, games you can play though on your home computer that will uh, teach you to turn around before you hit the end of the cave and come back out. Oh, yeah, you sure. Also get cave gold. Master, I've right, played it. I love cave. You coins back there. Remember, and, uh, a cave is just a hole on its side. Exactly. So that we, we got to start thinking smarter than yeah, Bin Laden, right? right? He doesn't know that. He doesn't know that a cave is a hole on its side. We could have this man, but what are we using? What are we using to go after him? What? We're using marketeers. Peanut the, butter. The person in charge of selling America to the Arabs this is the problem. They said, we're not being marketed properly. They chose the woman whose last two accounts were Johnson Wax and Ben, Uncle Ben's uh, you know, they're dropping, But they're dropping really? peanut yeah. butter on him, and that is that is a, a, a proven way to catch vermin. You know, you set your trap. Well, you, you know, you put the peanut butter on the trap if you got a rat, yeah. and mm -hmm. you don't you don't set it, and the rat eats the peanut butter. Do that a couple of nights, wow. then you set the trap. And Boy, this is for someone who really bin nothing Laden. much to do in their life. Well, so, what is there to do when you're living in a cave? Come well, yeah, that's You go true. out, there's a trap outside, there's yeah. peanut butter, you're lucky to get it. Give me a break. Here's how we do it. Here's how we do it. We go up there on oh, the... More um, peanut butter, honey? Yeah. We go up to the Teddy Roosevelt. Nope. and we, peanut butter outside. <laughs> and, and instead of putting real ordnance in a Tommy Hawk, we put, like, non-chunky. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Send it into the cave. Uh, Wham. Mm, some... This is good. He yeah. said, this is real good. The next night, we send in a Tommy Hawk with Chunky, right? Chunky Warhead. Mm, this is good, too. And then 
The third night, it's the real thing. Yeah. Ba boom! No more Osama bin Laden, or as I call him, Yo Mama bin Laden. That's or right. We, nobody that's home. His, wait, that's his cell phone. Uh, I think we're tracking him. Nobody home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Israelis use the cell phones uh, to track people and kill them. You know, they, that's how they got one of those terrorists uh, last year. He picked up his cell phone and blew up. Really? Yeah, blew up, man. Oh, mm-hmm. everything's blowing I'd up. Sue, now. I'd sue the phone company. Remember, myself. they they off that other guy with uh, with a video camera. Uh, yeah. yeah, and we have a couple and in, yeah, in here today, too. In here, yeah. Keep them at a safe distance That's now. Right, yeah. yeah, that was Masood, who was the head of the um, big uh, charismatic yes, leader the Northern, of the Northern Alliance. Northern Alliance. Two yeah. guys come and say, roll them, and balloon, yeah. they kill him. Well, was, I've been in a lot of bombs uh, myself. <laughs> I've seen well, some of them. You yeah. know, I mean, that brings up the point that we are only tiny actors in this piece. Yeah, we are right. in show business. We're, we're off Hollywood. the front lines. We're yep, not, we yeah. don't even have a cave to our name. No, we don't. No. What yes. are people, what are we to do in this situation? I don't uh, know. Read what? Variety. Okay. Read Variety. Well, what's in Be- Variety this week? Terror Bill Worries Comic. Oh, well. yeah. Terror. Oh, yeah. Stop the press. Rowan yeah. Atkinson. Rowan right. Atkinson yeah. said that he had often parodied religious figures in his career yep. and that the, pur- pu- the proposed new law in England might not tolerate the likes of Monty Python's Life of Brian or, and this is in quotes, friends, that excellent joke in Not the Nine O'Clock News all those years ago showing worshippers in a mosque simultaneously bowing, bowing to the ground with the voiceover, and the search goes on for the Ayatollah Khomeini's contact lens. <laughs> this might not have happened no, uh, no. under the new law. So well, Terror Bill is... worries comics, and you should be. Should we be worried? Do we have uh, anti-terrorism? We have. We have uh, I'm more worried about uh, theorists here in the studio. Myself, oh, theorists, yeah. theorists rather than terrorists. Yeah, because you know they can we're... they can make your brain explode. Yeah, and you know what I'm, what I'm worried about is Greta von Sesternen. Or whatever her name Red is on CNN. Se- Why? Because yeah. you can't pronounce her name yet. No. Yes. Is and she on that, the topless news? Well, the topless fact, of the hour. Don't you get it? Where what? did you first see Gilda von Gestern or whatever her name is? Gest- Gest- OJ. Gest- Do those letters mean anything oh, to you? OJ. No. OJ. O-J. O-J. That's where you. O- first Ojama started. bin Laden. That's where all these lawyers came from, and now the lawyers have con- entirely taken over the international news. They have indeed. Oh, it is all lawyers, all lawyers all the time. There is another route. There is Let another route. Let me read your rights to you. I remind. I remind you of the man with. With, with less talent but more Q than any other newsman in the history of the Wait. world, Wolf Blitzer. Oh, Wolf. Wolf. How did Wolf get to us? Wolf, Wolf got to us during the Gulf yeah. War when he would stand there in that Saudi Arabian, Arabian limbo in that bush jacket in front of some sort of nondescript oil tank looking at the sky for the scuds that never came for hours and hours. Wait. Made him famous. He, I was looking for OJ during that time. Yes. Those were not scuds. <laughs> looking for OJ. <laughs> Trying to avoid looking at Gilda von Sesternen or something. Sister because Sister Nurner. I mean, the woman is not pretty. No. Well, she is this, has, this has inspired well, the uh, news an entire generation of uh, weathermen, however, who it have did. been standing out waiting for it to rain on street corners or yeah. snow mm-hmm. or hail or whatever what the hell? for yeah. very many years. Well, I tell you, it's the the news. I've become so engrossed, so addicted to the news. It's it's amazing. Until it broke about three days ago. They're coming oh. to get you now. Here comes some news now. We got news now. coming in now. See, there's news everywhere. Uh, Wait, finally, is, that, is that Ray Hamburger? Ray, is that you? Oh, yes, it was. From the newsroom? Uh, was that a, something you've got? I have a siren hat I'm wearing now. It was a... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I thought the news was a special promotional was item. Well, wait a minute. Look, it's got... And when I turn it on, you'll notice there's a little red light that also goes on there. But, Ray, this, this is not news, <laughs> man. Around, it sounds like I'm actually doppering. <laughs> Dwayne, do we have to put up with this man? Oh, yo, man, I mean, th- this is a diverse radio station, you yeah, know? Yeah, but I mean, you, this go... is idle chit-chat with sound effects. Oh, yeah, but uh, news. we got to fill time in. you got to th- XM, man. XM's 100 channels. 24 hours a day, seven I'm days so a week. So you can just fill it, man. That's that's what it says up on the wall at XM. Fill it, not well, do it. It's that's like buying Nike. a bucket of fill slurp it. at the Hell, 7-Eleven. The, Hal, are you out in the truck, man? Can you hear us? Yes, Hal? Uh, who can hear you? No, that's truck. Ray. You're being Ray. Oh, I'm, I was wondering if Hal was oh, out in the truck. Just a second. I'll change my voice. Okay, just take your hands away. Yes, uh, I'm out here. Uh, Do you see cold. any terrorists out there, Hal? Well, I've been looking at the sky, waiting for terrorists to arrive. Uh, it appears as if there is going to be some uh, rain later on in the, in the week. Uh, oh, those kids the, on the skateboards uh, again! Yes, they're racing around, racing around. You know they well, love to be on television. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Sure. Hey, Dwayne, man. You know if this is two happening. guys Later. down in the lunchroom with a bunch of sound effects. I don't think they're out on the street at that, all. Well, that's as good as it gets, Bebop. See, the, the problem is, is that now... 
everybody's expecting news 24 hours a day ever yeah. since September 11th, and things are beginning to cool off. I mean, yeah, right. Aside yeah. from spores in the mail and, you know, bombs in the air, there's nothing much happening, you know? Not yet. No, no, no. 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 I'll tell you what, I had a joke. The Shoot a pro- problem with being a joke man, see, is that, like, immediately after those guys took off from Logan Airport and, and ran into the, I think they ran into one of the towers, I said, oh, Boston terrorists. My, I had a dog. Like, oh, that. man, yeah. that's the worst oh. joke I may have heard yeah. in the last 300 that's years. A, that's a terrible hey. joke. I'll tell man, you. that makes me want to buy a cave and just, like, move out of the radio business. I, I tell you, you, got a, you got an outfit for your dog, didn't you? So is it like he's going to be a pinata for Halloween? Is that right? Yeah, my dog. Don't make pinata. fun of my people, man. Hey, I, I was flying on a plane. This real story. Two, uh, Friday ago last, uh, fr- flying from Cleveland to New York. Beautiful day. At 8,000 feet, we're coming across Manhattan, the bottom of the island, really clear. I look down, and there's ground zero. Oh. I mean, there it is. There it is, just this big gray square cut out of the rest of the island. Oh. There's about 17 people on the plane. And I'm looking out, and I, and I wanted to say, and I didn't. I was going to look at that. I was looking at it, I was going to go, well, gee. What happened to the trade towers? Yeah. But I didn't. No. Yeah. Very good. Good. good thought. I did good thought. Yeah. But there it was. There was the well, moment. Well, no, doing funny voices on an airplane is now, I believe, some kind of federal law against it. Yeah, huh. you can't. You yeah. can't do funny. No funny voices no funny allowed voices, on. Please. Oh no, I can't. No, no Howards allowed on the uh, on airplanes. Well, what about this guy from New 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 Orleans gets on the plane, suddenly realizes, oh my God, oh, I got a gun, I got a gun oh, in I've my briefcase, and he goes up the store and says. And he says, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, please excuse yeah. me. Please there, excuse me. There. There's a gun in my case. Gun. God bless him. Yeah. I'm all for that because if he had been, if he had gone up to the stewardess and said in a duck voice. Yeah, that's right. He would no, have been in We jail. would have been escorted by jet planes in a yes, second. Right. You know, you can't mm-hmm. even shoot off your mouth in a plane now. No. You get in trouble. And you certainly can't talk about shooting the pilot when you get back to Hollywood. No. Oh, oh I see. No. Oh, yeah. That's oh, right. You're right. calm that down. That star yeah. is gone. Oh, yeah. Well, we're we're running out of time here. We're going to stop so improvising. Soon? We just began, you know, and we're going to go into the more scheduled part of the show, so people can breathe scheduled, deeply. There, scheduled part. Yeah, right. No, I just wanted. I I thought it would be appropriate to take one moment in the first, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. first, first twenty segment. minutes of yeah. the show, this first segment of the show of the very That's first show talk. of the mm-hmm. very, first very first show. show. Yes, segments. We've got it segmentized. segmentized. And all got it. Of that. We're organized here. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should see. Time and, is and because we know it says fill for two there, hours. That there, That's all it says I can't on my talk schedule. For two hours. Oh, if you spell it with pH, well, and I'll handle. We just we just know that they're they're. Uh, out there waiting for us in Washington because yeah. they're going to have a, a break. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll bet yeah. they're, they're going a to do a perpetual break. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're not in the studio. They're not on. No, on. no because no. of the anthrax scare. So they're I just want to wish line. everybody in, uh, in Washington good luck. This is Nick Danger. I walk again by night. Get a car. Carefully synchronizing my words to the beat of the music, I walked out into the world one night, having a new radio show that was being broadcast to at least half the United States of America, or at least those people that had outfitted their caves with XM satellite radios could get us. What the heck were we going to do on this show? That was my big problem. The first thing I figured I needed was an announcer. You, you see, you can't really be a, an American radio hero without an announcer, so I went looking for one. Ha! Ah, let's just look in the dictionary of announcers under Yeast. Yeast! Oh, he's a famous guy. He's Dwight, not working either. Dwight Yeast. Uh, wait a minute, Al. Your segment comes up in a minute. Uh, to him time to that music. He learned that from me. This is Dwight. Every announcer knows how to time his voice perfectly to the... Nuances. Wow. Of the thematic. Now. Well, nuances is something we don't deal with very often in my world. It's so, a Canadian word. Dwight, what do you think we ought to be doing? It's I mean, we clouds. gotta we gotta serialize a Nick Danger episode over thousands of these satellite radio shows. Oh my goodness. What do you think we ought to be doing? Should well, we... I think you ought to get a sponsor. Oh my god. Because for announcers, you really need a sponsor. You mean you, know? you gotta get paid? Well, that would help, oh yes, yes. And then there's a certain narrative line, but it's difficult to get into 
the narrative line, you know, where I say, Nick Danger, he walks again. You said that. Oh, okay. Well, Are why you don't, suggesting that perhaps you don't really you. need an announcer? No, no. I'm saying before I actually write a check to you, uh, yeah. let's kind of audition how all you're right, doing. Now, see, right. the next scene I had envisioned okay. with this was I would go to my traditional enemy, uh, Al Bradshaw, Al Bradshaw, down at the police station. Is this so, how they write why, these things, well, sitting around it? a it's table like this? It's just fascinating, isn't it? It is amazing. If they really just record is. them live like this and then Wait a minute. sell them to those suckers no, out there. Not only have I got an announcer, suddenly I had a bunch of adnoidal writers. Yeah. That, hey, you know, hey, that, excuse me. You, are Hello? you guys Jewish? Canadian. No, Buddhists. We're oh, Buddhists. 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 Okay, because no, we don't want any more Jewish religious. writers on this show. They're we're, too dangerous. We're transvestites, we're Buddhists, oh, and great. we're Canadians. Okay, yeah. great. Not well, could you, necessarily in that order. Uh, Dwight here needs a line to actually lead him into oh, the I scene where I go to Al Bradshaw's uh, police no. station or whatever the heck we call it. Announcers, you understand, don't write. They simply read the copy exquisitely as it's given to them. It was the best of Dwight, are we going to have to pay these? The Buddhist? world had ended uh, and started over again. 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 Yes. Okay, okay, just give, give, give me that this one. This was the best of times. This was the New York... T no, I'm sorry. Could you give me that, that copy? Wait, listen to there. this. this reverb. The Are we going to have to pay for this reverb? <clears throat> Keep it going, Bob. The worst this the was the best of times. This... Was the New York? Was the New York? No, well, the, don't I like that. It's me. good. Keep you like that? Yeah. Want me to keep the writers aren't supposed to yeah. talk. We have to this, pay you three hundred dollars okay, if you talk. Sorry. This was the best of times. This was the New York Times. This guy's great. Do I win? Yeah, well, yeah. Am I hired? Get to the police station. Oh, your check's in the mail. Uh, excellent. Nick walks down the dark and footsteps, please. Thank rainy you. street. Rain, please. Oh, yeah, rain. rain. There I'll you go. Do. Thunder, please. Thank you. He has never walked into the police station before. For good reason, too. Up till this moment, Al Bradshaw has always walked into Nick Danger's office. Yeah. But now, Nick walks into Al's. Yeah, I walked right past the guys in the anthrax suits. You see, they can't see out of those things, so they didn't even know I was there. I decided to knock on the door, but there wasn't a door exactly, so I guess I'd knock on the table. Hey, Al, are you in there? Yeah, I'm in there. Come on in. Hey. Hey, um, how do you like this tent I'm wearing? Oh, it's great. I you thought, like this burka, huh? <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah, you, you fit know. right in with those, uh, should I say the word, terrorists? Uh, oh, you're not allowed to say the word terrorist in here and knock your head off. Irishmen have to get paid. If you're going to say those lines, we're going to have to pay you another $300. What scene? My name's all bloodworst, you silly fool. Oh. Look, I've got my beer salami here oh. to prove <laughs> that I'm a true old bloatwurst. Well, hey. that's great. Hey, this is my scene. So, right. What do you think, Al? Secondary. Yes, sir. Right, Bob. Wait. He's right. He's I right, carry Bob. the thematic line right. through this you scene. And that Bob. thematic line would be? That, that they're uh, dropping me into Kabul this <gasps> evening. Yeah. Really? They need somebody tough on the ground, see? And that's why they got me in this female body bag they call a burqa. See? That'll be episode number two next month. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Golden Hind. Oh, I love this show. This show so I'm good. Bob Hind, and welcome, welcome again to the wonderful world of mispronunciation on snails and oysters. And today I've got some familiar guests that you probably remember if you've been watching this show for 30 or 40 years. Bud and Buzzy Bud, Crumhunger. Uh, Buffy. Who were, uh, Buffy Crumhunger. Sorry who were with us so many years ago, and they brought their boy, Buddy. Yes. Those two weeks in Mexico certainly stretched out to a lifetime yes, of... I'm a, I'm a doctor now. I can't oh, hear good. you over the... <laughs> and I thought we would look at your wonderful adventures that you went to, you're going to show us on the film today. Yes. Your trip to Art Bell's house. Yes, we did. And I think, oh, uh, what are we seeing here? Well, this, is, this, is, Rump this is Rump Rump, Rump, uh, Rump Nevada. Rump. Yes. And, uh, it's named after the Christmas song, uh, uh, pa rump pa rump rump and yeah. the little boy had a nice pa rump pa rump rump I, I do pa rump pa rump surgery. I didn't know whether you knew that. Oh, Bob. he does anything you want him to. Well, that yes, is certainly uh, Is this a crocodile off. we are seeing here? He can use a spoon and take out your eye. Well, that's, oh. that's one of the giant crocodiles that they have. It only here. seems to have one eye. Oh, look, there's the giant crocodile. As you can see, the mouth is five feet 
feet across, mm-hmm. not like dad's here. Yeah, large enough, large enough to, to house an entire immigrant family in the New World Order. That is not certainly... Not in the old world, you no, understand. No, no, certainly no. interesting, buddy. By the way, what happened to that alien baby that you was impregnated with last well, we saw you? Yeah. Well, you know, that's bringing lot, up an alien story. baby in the new millennium is no cup of tea. No. I can dance that one by you right now. That boy has caused me nothing but trouble. And is he that who we are seeing here in Art yes, Bell's yes, kitchen? Art, Art Playing low-gravity soccer. Look oh, at him go. Wow. Look mm. at that boy kick them goals. And here he way, is going this for a is ride in a blender. Espresso machine he only had, That's a blender. He He's only going had for one a foot originally, Bob, and I, he never I separated grew up. them into two feet, so he that's never how he can play up. this What a surreal game. world you live in. Yeah, it's getting and it's getting worse all the time because the a, checks not in the mail, only the spores. Oh, I thought checks were only in the Second World War. Oh, spore. <laughs> and what about this tree? Oh, oh that's, well. the, that's the bottle. By tree. any other name, it's just well. That's where they make. It's where they make the germs. Oh, is that a salami tree there that's, next that's to it? That's a salami tree. It's a I salmonella see. tree. Yeah, uh-huh. it's a beauty. Salmonella it's tree. It's a real beauty. Yeah. See wow. the salmons at the yeah. top there? They're we've got that's to be, great. <laughs> we've got to be going now. Did you know that? No. Oh my gosh, we've you're got leaving, to be the leaving the scene. Leaving the scene. Yeah, we're getting a little crazy. Oh, yeah, you've also we're... picked up my accent. I yeah, noticed. I know. Well, that's really interesting well, about this show. It's like spores. Yeah, I noticed that. It's like spores. Oh my gosh, I'm slipping into it too. Bob Hines' accent is spreading from person to person. It's catchy. <laughs> I think I've got it. Oh. <coughs> 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 Well, well, that, 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 was, that, that was good. Where right? did you get that tape? <laughs> that, that tape that just comes randomly it in the mail. It was across his mouth originally. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> With some editing, that could be pretty well, it you could know, be good, too. And you, you know, you, if you, you want to get out of things, you just do that. that. And you're gone, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I noticed, by the way, if you notice all the American flags on the cars now. Yeah. Now, see, oh. in, in L.A. I hate t- getting cut off by a guy with an American flag yeah. on the car. It's hard to give I, a guy the finger when he's yeah, waving an American flag You know flag what I do? You. I give him the finger like a little salute, like this. <laughs> yeah. Touch my forehead and go, yes, sir. Yeah, that was yeah. a bad you, move. You, you give him the eagle. It's not called giving him the bird That's anymore. right. You, you give, give him the old eagle. eagle. Right. Well, you know, this time, like back in Los Angeles around June, everybody had Laker flags on mm-hmm. their cars. Yeah. Thousands yeah. of Laker flags. And now the Laker Laker flags are gone, and they've got American flags as if we're playing in a new league. Mm-hmm. And we it's as well, if we we've are. won already. That's why the it's flags the went up. Because we won, and it turns out we all didn't American win league. after all. Because we all thought the war was going to be over by now. Remember, we were going to bomb yeah, them yeah. up to the Stone Age, and they were going to collapse. I think the word was implode. We were going to smoke them out and smoke get them running. Get, get them right. running. Get and them Smoke them out and get, get them, them running. running. Dead or alive. Out of their mm. caves. Of course, that'll be easy. That'll be easy. We'll just go right into that cave and get them. Yeah. Right there in the Hindu Tush, I think yeah. they call it. It's that rump of land right up there on the top. It's of easier to get a dead child out of a refrigerator on yeah. its side. Yeah, than, than it is to, to smoke a Taliban. <laughs> Taliban out of, out, a of a out of a hole on its side. Hole on its side, you know. <laughs> it's re- it's real. Tough. They don't have doors. That's yeah. the problem. See, and here's another problem. Well, wait a minute. The biggest problem. They all problem. got wait, the same wait. name. We've been through Mohammed. half an hour. That means, all called Mohammed. That means Joe, you know. But wait, Joe. the Trans- huge problem Joe. is this. We've hey, been through Joe. 45 minutes of a radio show, and we have not come up with a title that has the word enduring in it oh. to, uh, to characterize right. what we're doing. Enduring. Operation Enduring Comedy. It what didn't it? used to be Enduring, Phil. Let me no. explain. Uh, originally. Originally, all the moniker for all activities that takes place in Afghanistan was infinite. Back in the yeah. Gulf War. Wait infinite. a minute. No when, one didn't can talk of infinite well, except God yeah. himself or a guy in a white suit. Because. But before that, before that, back there in the time of the infinite Gulf War, justice. when we lobbed those tomahawks oh, in, yeah, you know, on the, from the uh, the cruiser the Bill Maher, yeah. you know, the, Bill Maher <laughs> the cruiser Bill Maher, when those cowards sent them tomahawks in, uh, it was that was called Operation Infinite Reach, mm-hmm. to show them mullahs that there was nowhere they could go. Right? Yeah. So now they decided, okay, we got another war in Afghanistan. Another war in Afghanistan. That's enough to make anybody that's read history just shudder. Right? The Persians tried it 400 years ago. The English tried it 100 years ago. The Russians are still healing their wounds. No, yeah. Anyways, we're going back in. You're right. We can't call it. Well, infinite. And you, you know, it's not called infinite. One justice. reason the Taliban why? the Taliban is turning out to be a tougher opponent than we expected. You know why? Because in those caves, you can't get Bill. Mar- on your television. You can't. No. no. That's one reason they're toughening up. You have to develop your own 
sense of humor. That's right. Yeah, right. And you they don't, don't. Well, I'm sorry, but the Taliban does not have a natural sense of humor. No, no, I, I, oh, I, let I us cut off her hand. I heard one she joke. She had shown her eyes. Let's cut off her hand. I heard hand. one Taliban a joke no, that this guy told. No, yeah, really. It, this guy was talking. This one of these interviewers was talking to a member of the Taliban. One of he said one of the intelligent ones, and they were they like you know hanging out together and drinking coffee and smoking and stuff. And he said to him, they got talking about women, and this American guy said, you know, I'm a leg man myself. <laughs> the Taliban guy said, I always look at a woman's eyes first. That's all he can <laughs> see. Yes, I have no choice. That's all yes. he can see. Another reason why they have no sense of humor is that even if an, a Taliban woman laughs, all you can see is a slight shaking yeah, of the burqa. That's right. So you don't know if it's a the wind come flutter. up out of the east, you know, or blow back. Is some bad back food. Or she, or bad Too food. strong coffee. Yeah, right. You don't know. You can't tell if she's laughing or just blowing back. That's right. So. Why in the small American town of Billville is there some kind of cult which has to do with, uh, oh, Afghanistan, save us from Babylon? Would you answer that for us? I believe Billville is in exactly the center of the country, is it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it's the, right there, right in the middle. It's the most natural and normal yeah, American place. American town. Yeah. Why, we heard that song earlier. Yeah, save what? us from what does Taliban. that mean? We didn't know when we recorded no, we it didn't. back in 1980. Oh, you are you one of the musicians that recorded it? Well, I'm, he, he I'm the it. censor that let it through. Oh. I wrote oh, it that's originally. Right. Well, that's, I, that's a musical well, I wrote it the same way that they named it Operation Infinite uh, What Infinite Justice, wasn't it, David? That was no, I think it was Infinite, Infinite Justice. Justice. But for a while there, Peter, after they dumped that, there was no name at all. Yeah. So we had no name for an operation against nameless and faceless uh, enemy. I think yeah. they considered calling it Operation Bullshit. They did. No, Eventually, no, no. Operation was... Enduring Bullshit. Enduring oh, Bullshit. Was Bush- no, Operation Infinite Bullshit. Infinite <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> that was... And unfortunately, that just caught up the whole idea yeah. of government itself. Yeah. So then they you know, went... You're right. We can't be boys yeah. in the Senate. We can't be criticizing ourselves. No, now, here's okay. the thing, guys, which is that's very nice that we are sensitive to the international Muslim feeling, the, you know, the theology saying, no, I'm sorry, only God can dispense infinite justice right. so we changed it back in 1944 we called the invasion of normandy overlord did we go oh, around Lord. did we go around oh. to the various burgs in germany in the occupied countries and ask them if they had a theological problem with that yeah, no we just right. hit the beach right. right yeah so we've gotten a lot more sensitive thanks subtle, to I would say subtle this is subtle very this now is what i want to know is can i wear sensitive. muslim no. Can I wear Muslim? Oh, that I be is offending so somebody? Only on a Dude, hot but day. You're not spelling it correctly. Muslim, Muslim is spelled different than Muslim. Well, it sounds the same, doesn't it? Well, it mescaline. Same. Can I take mescaline? Yes. And and, and see God? Yes. I guess. Yes. I believe. So. Well, not Muslim. God. Operation Enduring God. We're calling him now. That's right. Enduring God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mescaline, Muslim, and Muslim. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you can endure your muscle. vision, you can take anything you want to. Is Professor Zygote still in his secret laboratory? Yes, he shut himself in there for five days, working on his new biochemical discovery. Hasn't he eaten? No, I tried to slip trays of food under the door, but they don't fit. There's only one thing that will fit, a package of Carnation Instant Breakfast. You're right, let's try it. Professor, we've brought you some breakfast. How many times do I have to tell you I don't want any greasy bacon, cold eggs, and soggy toast all squashed under my door? But, Professor, this is different. Just listen to what's in it. Sucrose, sodium silico aluminate, Mm. sodium ascorbate ferric orthophosphate, riboflavin pyridoxine hydrochloride, I never realized how hungry I was. Give it to me. Wait, Professor, you have to mix it with milk. What's that? Supersaturated homogenized calcium lactose. Why didn't you say so? Carnation Instant Breakfast. Lots of delicious flavors. Just mix a package with supersaturated homogenized calcium lactose. What's that? Start off your day with Carnation. 